Well, good morning. Happy Sunday. As usual, start with the weather. It's pretty gloomy and overcast. A little bit frosty as you can see, but it's actually not bad. Temperature wise, pretty nice. Anyways, today we're getting in the festive spirit. Yeah, we started with the grand breakfast. We decorated the Christmas tree. Yeah, there's more glitter all over our house than ever we've seen before. Looks like somebody butchered an elf in there. And we also let Michael Boobly out of his cave. We've got to get some water moved over here. Yesterday, we found out the tap wasn't frozen. That was a win. Hey, sheepy sheeps. So we have the water trough at the bottom of the hill over here. We run the garden hose all the way down from the shop. And I got thinking, there's a ton of snow comes off that roof. And when the sun comes out, it all melts, runs down that east trough. And when it runs down the east trough, it runs down the hill. Down, 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 down. Cause a bunch of water erosion. That's what we're trying to do with compost here, slow down that water. So rather than have the trough right here, we could run the trough up there and capture that water, fill two, kill two birds with one stone, kind of thing. First things first though, we gotta get all the sheep, the chickens, the pigs, everybody fed. Good morning, piggies. Looks like they got everything cleaned up from yesterday, what we fed. So we're gonna give them a bucket of water here first and then we'll give them their slop. Looks like the girls are going to town on this leftover pig feed. This has only got uh, wheat, oats, and barley in it. it. Doesn't have any canola or peas or anything like that in it, but that's okay. They can clean this up, and then in this other feeder, we'll give them a little bit later today once once this is all cleaned up. So there's nothing too much that's level around here. Pretty much everywhere on the farm, there's a slope to something, and uh, even where the water bucket was down there, I had to have it propped up on a two by four. This is where I want to put it, which is on a side hill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pallet and then put a little, a couple blocks underneath the pallet. So at least that tub can sit level. Perfect time to run out of gas. All right, so it's now this afternoon and this has taken far too long. I still haven't got tied into here, but I did get the trough moved over and got it up on a pallet so it's nice and level. And you'll see we're plugged in here. When we built this shop in 2017, we wired it all up. This plug-in didn't work and there's one exactly the same spot, but on the front side that didn't work either. I could never figure out what was going on with that. And uh, as it turns out, at the front of the shop, there was a wire that came down that was supposed to tie into the garage door opener, and these two plugins were supposed to be on that circuit. We didn't tie in the garage door opener for like a year, and then when we finally did, we didn't make the tie into here because we had the whole inside of the shop plumbed in, or like tinned and everything, so it was all covered up. So today I wanted to move this here, but I also wanted power here. So I had to basically rip a bunch of tin off the inside, cut holes in the insulation, tie in the wiring, tape everything up, re-insulate, tape everything up, put the tin all back. And that was four hours of my day that I'll never get back. Four hours of my day that I wish I would have spent three years ago to do it right the first time. But now it's done. So I'm gonna take my tin snips and I'm gonna flange up a little bit of something off the eaves trough here that's gonna come down into the water trough. And then all of this water that comes off this great big building can come through here. And it's still gonna run down the hill as it overflows, that's fine. So we actually had the guy that put the eaves trough on the house, put the eaves trough on the shop. This was a year after the shop was built. And we were getting massive avalanches coming off the roof because it's got a black roof and so the snow all melts off and it would come thundering down here. And it would block off that, that man door over there, which is really our only way into the shop other than the big garage doors. 
So we had ice rakes put up over top of that door and then the east trough ran down here and actually it, it originally went down this fence line, but the wind always comes out of the west and it would, it would tear it off. So then I made the eaves trough face west and I put this spike here and I had it ratchet or uh, zip strapped to that pipe. Anyways, as soon as we put sheep in here, they would run and jump and fool around anyways and they ended up busting, busting the eaves trough off a number of times. So waste not, why not, this is, this is actually the broken eaves trough pipe that was coming down here before. And I'm no tin basher, but I uh, was able to do some fancy things with some tin snips and to get it all folded up and pretty looking. So we're gonna get it attached to here and then run down directly into the trough. That's the theory anyways. Well, I'd say it works. The only thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna actually try and secure that up a little bit higher. Maybe not, I don't know. I just feel like the wind's gonna take and flop this thing around, so. Somehow, I'm gonna maybe zip tie it or something like that. So it can still run down, but it can't flop around and get blown off in the wind again. Well, it's kind of hokey, and I know I just give a big lecture on doing things right the first time, but threw a bungee cord on here. You can't go wrong with one of those. At least we'll see if it works well enough. Um, so we'll just leave that on there for a couple of days. And if I gotta do something better, proper, <laughs> I'll come back and revisit this Anyways, one. enough goofing off with water. I'm on supper duty tonight, so I better feed the chickens, collect the eggs, and then go in, and I'm gonna cook some steaks up. So I'll let you go for now. I hope you have a fantastic evening. We'll see you tomorrow.